Hi guys, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining. So this is part two of the animal planters. I was doing this at the same time as the rooster. So if you haven't seen that one yet, I will put a link in the description box below. I had a little challenge and I thought, let me get the rooster up and going and I'll put this separately. As you can see the snout, I got it from one of those masks that you can find at the uh, Dollar Tree. Now, if you don't want to use it or you can't find it, um, you could use those little containers for the dips to not make it kind of collapse uh, inside or you know not stick well i decided to use the other half of the styrofoam ball from the rooster and fill it up so that it stays solid so that when you glue it on it will look like a full pig snout I uh, use Eileen's tacky glue. You can use any other one if you want to use. For the ping pong balls, what I'm doing is I'm going to cut them in half. I followed the line that was there to try to keep them even. Then sand them down a bit. And guess what they are? They're the little feet for the pig. So that's why you want to try to keep them as even as possible. And thank you all for who are subscribing and if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you take interest in the videos that I'm doing and I hope you'll consider subscribing. going to be putting the cardboard there there's the rooster so I put it on top to kind of give it some weight there to dry there's the white air dry clay that's Crayola you know there are better ones uh, DOS and bought this from Costco I have a bunch and it uh, takes a bit of time a few days for it to really cure and dry to a consistent hard clay but uh, it works if you're just uh, doing it for a craft So here I'm making the ears. Yeah, I think you guys can guess what I'm making here. Now I had to keep, you know, thinking about the size of the pig because it's not a very big pig. For the spray paint, I couldn't make it out and I ordered it online and there was another pink one that I wanted to order, but I couldn't remember if it was out of stock or they weren't delivering that one for some reason. So I ended up having to order this lighter one, which I wasn't very happy with the color. And just like the rooster, I ended up painting on top of the spray paint. 
What I used to cover on the bottom of the feet were those chair pads. Now, if you guys are using the B6000, I'm thinking any kind of permanent glue that you use, you're either gonna get glue residue or you're gonna get where it's gonna remove the spray paint a bit. See there, you're gonna remove the spray paint. As you're pressing down with your fingers the object, it ends up sliding a little bit. It's so hard to not slide. I don't know if it's just me from my hands shaking, that's why for me, no matter what, for the two projects, I ended up touching up the paint. Maybe the best thing is, in hindsight, is to glue the stuff first and then spray paint. Maybe you can try that. So here I am putting that pink that I had from Dollarama and it was just me trying to play around with the color and I ended up using this just as a base. And then I sort of did another layer with this other apple barrel candy pink that I had and it ended up this color for the body. What do you think? Was it better to just leave it as it was, or is this a nicer pink for the body? Leave me a comment. I really appreciate you guys leaving your comments. It's nice to hear from you guys. So hope you leave some more comments. I'd like to get to know who is watching and give me some feedback. I have other planters of animals that I could do, but I have another project I'm gonna be moving on. But if you like these animal planters, let me know. I, there might be a cat, a dog, there's other ones that I could do. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see more, but I've got another project that I'm gonna be doing next. Now, I gave him some little dirt on his feet and snout. So I'm doing those little spots. I think they're so cute. And there's those googly eyes again. For the rooster, I couldn't provide you guys the link for where I got it from Amazon because I've had these both for in my stash for quite a while. So I did put the one for deco art. You can try that one. I've tried that before as well. And they both say that they're okay for outdoor. That's it guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you're going to try any of these, if you want to see more of them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.